So today I want to focus on how I water my mounted orchids. I get the water to an approximate room temperature, just not too cold. I don't want to shock um, the roots or the orchid or anything. And uh, I get the driftwood nice and wet as long as well as the roots. Now you'll notice with uh, this one, this is, I try to keep the tags with them, the Otara Huayan Bay Shishu. Um, I'm not too worried about getting the water on the leaves or anything. The only one I'm really cautious of is the, uh, new, uh, the Phalaenopsis I just did. And mainly because it's a monopodial, they tend to get the crown rot. Because I have a couple of these roots that are right here on the top. Like this one here. And I want to get it nice and soaked. But you'll notice I'm holding it upside down a lot. When I'm done watering, I kind of shake her a little bit and get you know most of the water off but she doesn't seem to um, have any issues with uh, water or in the leaves or anything for these ones i don't have to do it every day sometimes i'll do it every other day i generally don't let it go more than every other day and you'll notice it's because um these have nice big thick roots so they, they absorb and hold some moisture you'll notice the roots are uh, starting to turn that green color and that's what I want to see and then I just set them off to the side here now this one is the twinkle and this one I do every day um, or try to do every day and that is because her roots you'll notice are a lot thinner let me show you in comparison see the difference in the root sizes her roots are a lot thinner so they're not gonna obviously retain as much moisture so I uh, want to give her a lot more attention and keep an eye on her a lot more than the others. Let me move to, this is the new um, Phalaenopsis that I just mounted um, on the driftwood about a week ago. So this is my experiment. And you'll notice I'm being really cautious about getting any, uh, just getting her roots and the wood wet. Again, it's a monopodial. My limited understanding with monopodials is you don't want to get water around, you know, stuck in between the leaves. And the, um, it just has the one stem and it can create crown rot. And I had a great question on the Phalaenopsis, you know, what do they do in the wild or, you know, what about when it rains on them? Again, limited understanding, I've only been doing this for five years, is that they tend to kind of grow sideways, and you can see how this one's leaning a little bit. They tend to grow sideways, so um, if there's rain, the water will um, drip off of them and not get stuck in between where the stem is. Since we tend to grow them straight up and down, they don't have um, the same benefits as they do out in the wild. This is the RLC Wine Ice Starburst Volcano Queen. Um, she gave me this new growth, and now this is a new one, and here's a new one back here, too. I think I started her out on, in, you know, the vase semi-water culture, and then I needed more room. 
So I mounted her and she seems to, you know, be loving it. And so I let them kind of set over here for a little bit, absorb the moisture or whatever before I hang them back up. I had her in the uh, semi-water culture and she was doing fine, but she's just so big, she was taking up a lot of room on my windowsill. So I uh, mounted her on a piece of driftwood. She actually put out, I was expecting a new growth over here, but she put out a new growth over here. Um, and that was, let me see, this one was her first new growth in my care. And this is her second new growth in my care. And she's putting out a ton of roots. Now with her, because a lot of her um, roots are dangling down here, I'll also kind of spray them. So a lot of the reason why I just let these sit and drain here is because they're hanging over my windowsill. And my windowsill has a lot of other plants and my phalaenopsis and stuff. And I don't want them dripping in onto uh, my fowls and stuff. So I let them sit and kind of um, dry off a little bit here on the counter. And then I'll hang them up. I generally water my mounted orchids um, every day or every other day. The one I definitely do every day is the twinkle, again, because the roots are so small. Um, the phalaenopsis one, because she's just newly mounted on here, I'm trying to um, water her at least every other day until she gets used to having her roots all out. So this is how I water my mounted orchids. If you're interested in how I mount my orchids on driftwood, check out this video. Thank you for watching my channel.